ever pondered which country holds the title for the most contrasting and extreme on Earth? It's a question that invites intrigue, isn't it? As we know, our planet is a tapestry of fascinating contrasts, from the icy tundra of the Arctic to the scorching sands of the Sahara. Some countries more than others encapsulate these extremes, making them a study of contrast. Let's take a quick global tour. Start with the United States, a land of skyscrapers and sprawling wilderness. Then there's Australia, a continent where barren outback rubs shoulders with lush rainforests. Or consider Chile, a sliver of a country that stretches from the driest desert in the world to the icy fjords of Patagonia. Yet there's one country that outdoes them all in terms of contrasts. A nation that spans 11 time zones and where temperatures can swing from a bone-chilling minus 68 degrees Celsius to a sweltering plus 43. A country where the sun-drenched beaches of the Black Sea are as much a reality as the perpetual darkness of the polar nights in the Arctic. This country is none other than the vast and enigmatic Russia. Russia is a land of contradictions, a place where extreme cold and extreme heat can exist side by side. It's a country where ancient traditions coexist with cutting-edge technology, where bustling cities are just a stone's throw away from vast, untouched wilderness. It's a land where the arts flourish, yet it's also a place known for its military might. But what makes Russia truly extraordinary is not just its geographical contrasts, but its cultural extremes. From the ornate grandeur of its czarist history to the austere simplicity of its Soviet past, Russia is a country that has been shaped by a multitude of influences, making it a captivating study of contrast. So fasten your seatbelts as we embark on a thrilling journey to dissect the enigma that is Russia. Over the next few minutes, we'll delve into the land of ice and fire, navigate the cultural chessboard, piece together the economic jigsaw, and finally, attempt to unravel the Russian paradox. It's going to be a ride like no other, so stay tuned. Russia, a country where one can witness the most scorching summers and the most freezing winters, a land of contrasts, where the climate is as diverse as the culture it hosts. Imagine, in one extreme, the icy landscapes of Siberia, where temperatures can plunge to a bone-chilling negative 50 degrees Celsius in the winter. Siberia, covering a vast expanse of over 5 million square miles of forests, rivers, and plains, houses some of the coldest inhabited places on Earth. Yet the Siberian people have adapted to these harsh conditions in remarkable ways. Their resilience is awe-inspiring, their survival skills ingenious. They have learned to harness the power of the icy wilderness, turning it into a source of sustenance and a playground for winter sports. On the other end of the spectrum, we find the summer heat of Sochi, the subtropical gem of the Russian Riviera. Here, temperatures can climb to a balmy 30-plus degrees Celsius in the height of summer. Sochi, with its palm-fringed promenades and pebbled beaches, is a world away from the Siberian tundra. Yet it is equally Russian, equally rich in tradition and spirit. The people of Sochi, much like their Siberian counterparts, have adapted to their environment with flair. They revel in the warmth, using it to fuel their vibrant culture of outdoor festivals, beach sports, and al fresco dining. They've turned their city into a haven for sun seekers and leisure travelers. From the snow laden expanses of Siberia to the sun soaked shores of Sochi, Russia presents a landscape of extremes. Yet, the Russian people, in their adaptability and resilience, have transformed these extremes into a testament of their spirit and ingenuity. They have turned the challenges of their environment into opportunities, showcasing the tenacity of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Indeed, Russia is a testament to the saying that variety is the spice of life. In this land of ice and fire, the people have not only survived but thrived, creating a culture as diverse and vibrant as the climate they live in. It's not just the weather that's extreme in Russia, but the culture, too, is a collage of stark contrasts. Picture the vast expanse of Russia stretching over 11 time zones, and you'll begin to grasp the immense diversity this country holds. Russia's culture is as varied as its landscape, a true mosaic of extremes, each piece telling a story of its own. Let's take a journey through this cultural chessboard, starting with the traditional symbols of Russia. The babushka dolls, or matryoshka as they are known, are more than just charming souvenirs. These nested dolls, each one fitting snugly inside the other, are a metaphor for the Russian family structure, symbolizing the strong bond between generations. Moving from the traditional, we look skyward to the modern Moscow skyscrapers. These towering structures reaching for the clouds represent Russia's ambition and drive. They are a testament to the country's progress in its quest for modernity. 
Yet even among these modern marvels, one can find echoes of the past. The ornate domes of the Kremlin, a symbol of Russia's rich history, stand proudly alongside the skyscrapers, a reminder of the country's storied past. As we delve deeper into Russia's cultural chessboard, we'll find that the country's rich history has a profound influence on its present-day culture. Russia's literature is a treasure trove of classic works, with authors like Tolstoy and Dostoevsky whose tales of love, loss, and struggle resonate with readers across the globe. Meanwhile, the country's traditional music, from the soulful strains of the balalaika to the powerful performances of the Bolshoi Ballet, continue to captivate audiences worldwide. All these elements, the traditional, the modern, the historical, come together to form a culture that is uniquely Russian, a culture that is full of contrasts, yet harmonious in its diversity. From the old to the new, Russia's culture is a unique blend of extremes, a true cultural chessboard. Russia's economy, much like its weather, is a puzzle of extremes. This vast nation, spanning 11 time zones from east to west, is a study in contrasts, economically speaking. The richness of the land is undeniable, with its oil fields gushing black gold in the harsh Siberian tundra and its mineral reserves buried deep within the Ural Mountains. Yet, this wealth is not evenly distributed. In the glittering metropolis of Moscow, Billionaires rub shoulders with high-flying entrepreneurs, their pockets lined with the profits of the energy sector. Here, skyscrapers punctuate the skyline, a testament to the economic power concentrated in the hands of the few. Luxury cars zip down boulevards, and money flows as freely as the Moskva River. But travel beyond the city limits, and the picture changes dramatically. In the rural heartlands where the majority of Russia's population resides, life is a daily struggle. The soil is often too frozen for cultivation and the isolation too great for industry. Here, people eke out a living, with incomes a mere fraction of those in the cities. They are the unsung heroes of the Russian economy, surviving against the odds. The challenges are significant. Sanctions imposed by the international community have hit hard, forcing the country to look inward for economic growth. There's also the issue of corruption, a specter that haunts the corridors of power, skewing the economic playing field. Yet, through it all, the Russian people continue to show remarkable resilience. They adapt, innovate, and persevere, finding ways to navigate this economic jigsaw. They're the miners digging deep into the earth, the farmers tilling the frozen soil, the entrepreneurs dreaming big in the face of adversity. In the face of adversity, Russia presents an economic jigsaw that's as diverse as its landscape. It's a story of contrasts, of hardship and triumph, of wealth and want. And like any good puzzle, the pieces, though disparate, come together to form a picture that is uniquely Russian. In Russia, contradictions coexist, creating a paradox that's as fascinating as it is perplexing. As we've journeyed through this vast country, we've grappled with its extremes. We've braved the sub-zero temperatures of Siberia and basked in the mild climates of Sochi, a land of ice and fire indeed, where the weather itself is an embodiment of the Russian paradox. Culture, too, is a chessboard of contrast. From the grandeur of St. Petersburg's hermitage, housing some of the world's most prized art collections, to the humble dachas in the countryside, where simplicity and tranquility reign, the Russian soul, it seems, is an intriguing blend of opulence and austerity. And let's not forget the economic jigsaw we've explored. Russia, a powerhouse of natural resources, yet grappling with economic disparities. The glittering wealth of Moscow's elite juxtaposed against the modest means of the rural populace. Yet, in this disparity, we find resilience and adaptability, characteristics that have seen Russia through centuries of change. But why does this paradox exist? Perhaps it's the sheer size of Russia, spanning 11 time zones, that allows for such diversity. Maybe it's the tumultuous history that has seen empires rise and fall, and regimes change. Or it could be that the Russian paradox is simply the product of a people who have learned to endure and thrive amidst extremes. Whatever the cause, these contrasts and contradictions make Russia a place of infinite intrigue. They shape a nation that is both familiar and foreign, both inviting and intimidating. And they create a narrative that's as compelling as it is complex. As we pull back the Iron Curtain, we find a country that's a captivating cocktail of contrasts and extremes. Such is the Russian paradox.